This is Alternative Gamer 1 with my review for Mario Kart 64. Alright, Mario Kart of course is a series of racing games for the Nintendo console. This game includes 16 courses and 8 characters. This really doesn't change until Mario Kart Double Dash where it has a huge, much huger amount of characters in it. Now of course, the first thing I'd like to notice is that in your selection screen is narrated by Charles Barney or Mario basically. It's one of my favorite things. Now this game was originally named Super I mean Mario Kart R. But because of Sega they had to change it to Mario Kart 64. Now of course the first thing is basically you're racing around these courses and get items and shooting people. <laughs> that was really lucky. And of course I like the voices on the characters. Toads honestly make me laugh all the time. I was hit by a fake item block right there. And Luigi passed me with star power. There's also bananas, red shells, which track enemies, stars, and invincibility. And the ghost, which makes you in invisible and invulnerable to other people's attacks. There's just a lot. And of course, there's much. I honestly don't come back to this game much because, of course, it, it's not as superior to me as Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii is much better overall to me than this game. But I do find myself coming back just to enjoy some of the old courses. And of course, some of these courses have been redone and put onto the Nintendo and then put onto the Wii. To the Wii version. Mario Kart Wii, of course, has Mario Circuit. I don't know, I can't recall any right now for some reason. Mario Circuit, DK's Jungle Parkway, I think. Hmm. But yeah, basically, the basic essentials are here. Race around against CPUs, usually. This is the greatest of multiplayer game, though, of course, but multiplayer only goes up to four players as opposed to the other games right now, Mario Kart Wii, which can support up to 12 players via Wi-Fi. Which is a huge improvement overall, but of course, back in the time, this game was really good. Alright, as you can see, I got first place. But the thing is, the ranking system. Now the ranking system in here is, if, as long as you're in the top 4, you're gonna get some points. If you're in the bottom 4, you're gonna get none. It's 9, 6, 3, and 1. And this happens for four courses. It adds them up. If you're tied with the CPU opponent, you will still be in first place. I mean, like, after two races, you get first, and you get second, and the CPU opposite for them. Then, and you both have, like, 15 points, I'd say. And, uh, you'd both basically be the same thing. Have the same standing, but you'd be above them. And I keep trying to shoot behind me, and I can't get it. Let me try now. There we go. Lightning. Right, that's when I forgot to mention. It shrinks you and basically, basically makes you... Oh, God. Oh, my God. My luck is really bad this time. But, yeah. Basically, the Mario Kart series has always been known for this unique style of racing with a bunch of impossible items only found in the Mario world. Now one thing I really don't like is time trial and ghosts in this game. It's much better in Mario Kart Wii and I like it there, but not here. I just don't. And I don't do time trial a lot, but of course I'll do time trial for you. So that way you can see it in this mode. Now there is a problem with multiplayer mode in Mario Kart 64. When playing, if I'm correct, with over with three players or more, there's no sound. There's no sound. There's it's sad. I mean, come on, you're trying to play with many friends and there's no sound? That just doesn't work for this game. Yeah, so... As you can see, I got second. And they usually got first, but last time it was second, so I'll show you that now, what I mean.
We're tied, right? We have 15 points each, but I come in above him. Alright, now I'm actually gonna go to time trial mode to show you that a little. Of course, in many Mario games, they always bring back several courses. Such as, and one of them, one that is, of course, very common to this is Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road is in every Mario Kart game. It's in every Mario Kart game. This is one of the best of them for me. But of course, looking back at it now, it looks nothing like the others. In Mario Kart Double Dash, there's a much more colored revamped version, and there's no rails to keep you in. Basically, if you fall off, you're screwed. In this version, you can stay on the rails and bump into them, but the, but the real hazard on this Rainbow Road is chain chomps always binding through the road. That's what you always have to avoid in this mode. On this track, I mean. But in the other versions, there's always something different with the other versions in other Mario Kart games. I honestly prefer... I'm not sure. But the only problem I have is that in Mario Kart Wii, they don't have this song. The soundtrack for all Mario Kart is... for all... for every Mario Kart game is pretty... is really good. There's really... Nintendo always has a knack for making perfect songs for these games. I'm just a little sad that they decided not to put this song back in Mario Kart Wii. But oh well. Can't be picky, can you? Of course, time trial is just going around. I really don't like it, it's just too boring. But it's much funner in Mario Kart Wii because you can race against other people's ghosts and other people's data. Making it much more fun and much more... How do they say? Makes it seem more... I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. And there's really not much to go beyond saying beyond that. There's also battle and versus mode for two and four players, but that's really it data, which really is just a, your best speed to time trial. There's really not that much else to say about Mario Kart Wii, but for its time, it was a great game. It was great to play with friends. It was great to play with almost anyone. But right now, it doesn't seem... Um, it doesn't seem right now, I honestly play Mario Kart Wii more than I play this game. But of course, I always go back to this game every once in a while just to play it. But yeah, that's really it for this review. Retro review, you could call it. Retro. Versus battle. I can't do it now because there's no one else here. But yeah, that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review so far. This review. If you did, subscribe to my videos. And I'll see you later.